Olympics. Elite gymnasts Claire Hefford and Tracy Grant had aspirations of making it to the very top, but years of persistent abuse forced them to turn their backs on the sport they dedicated their young lives to. I still have issues around guilt and eating food. Um, whilst I try to remain on top of that, I'm still fully aware of where that stems from. Because I'd spent the last 15 years thinking it was just me that was just suffering and that it was because there was something inherently wrong with me. And when you're told that you're deficient on an hourly, weekly basis, that has long-term significant mental health effects. Despite walking away, they couldn't escape the lasting impact gymnastics had on them. Now they want those responsible for that culture of abuse to make amends for the past and build a harm-free future. The shutters are down. They don't want to know. Um, from the individual coaches to the gymnastics clubs right through to British Gymnastics, we want to force a change now. We need the sport to be reformed. An Olympian has come forward, put a complaint in, brushed under the carpet. And if they can do that to an Olympian, how can a little club athlete speak up? How can we have a voice unless we come together? And that's what this is all about. The QC, who will be fronting this action against British gymnastics, believes a civil court, not an independent review, is the only place to guarantee rights are wronged and meaningful reform is achieved. We've seen so many reviews with good intentions in sport in the past when there have been scandals and in other areas of life. You look at the Hillsborough disaster, for example, that can take years and years to get anywhere and often fizzle out into nothing. And, and that's why I say by bringing claims in their own names, the athletes, the gymnasts, take control of the process. In response to allegations that complaints were ignored, British Gymnastics said today it is entirely wrong to suggest we have not acted on these claims. Within a few days of them first appearing, we announced an independent review led by an independent QC to investigate allegations of abuse. But it now seems very likely that review will not be the only scrutiny gymnastics and its troubled past is subject to. Steve Scott, News at 10.